Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yadi and this is Yadi Angel Art. So today I'm going to share with you my process in my largest project up to date. And along the way, I'll also mention some light box tips that I learned the hard way. Let's get started. So if you guys saw my video last week, you might remember that I mentioned that there was this large project that I put a pause on because there were a couple problems with it and I was just running out of time, so I turned to a different project to share with you last Saturday. Well, this is that project. Now, I can't quite say what the end result will be. <laughs> That, as it turns out, this project is still really big and I'm maybe about halfway through it and I didn't have enough time to finish it to also get an edited video out for you guys on time. So I broke it into two parts and the reason I can't share with you what the end result will be is because this is going to be a birthday gift for someone very dear to me and she watches my videos so... I don't want her to know exactly what it is. Uh, as you can see on the screen, the theme will be Alice in Wonderland. And I thought I'd just show you real quick what my last mishap was last week on this project. <laughs> there it is. Right there. That line on Alice's face. You can't quite see it from this angle, but if you looked at it straight on, it looks like I starved Alice before drawing her. <laughs> and to try to fix this problem, I then get a white gouache. Because <laughs> I don't have, I couldn't find my jelly roll pen. And that's usually what I like to use to try and save ink mishaps. So I get the white gouache and try to fix it with that. And that may have made it worse. Mm, it didn't help. So now you can kind of see this splotch of off-white on the white paper where her face is. I felt it was unsalvageable. If there are any artists out there who could offer me some advice for how to maybe save this, please let me know. I'd love to try and go back and work on it some more. But there it is. That's what made me decide to take a pause on this project. Now we're on to this week and it's back to the drawing board. Now one of the best things that could help you get started on a larger project would be to set up a mood board. If you don't know what a mood board is, it's basically a compilation of images that you'll use as inspiration or reference during your project. So as you can see here, I collected quite a few Alice in Wonderland images. I, I got some from the Disney movie, but I also didn't want to directly reference Disney, so I tried to get a few things outside of it to try to like find a bit of a style for it. I figured that one of my problems last week was that my sketches weren't quite done. It was a lot sketchier than I normally like to work with, so I decided to get back to the iPad and kind of refine these sketches some more before I moved back to traditional. One of the difficult things about this project for me was thinking about things uh, as based on distance. I'm not a large background artist and this was very background heavy. So thinking about the foreground, the middle ground and the background was not something that I normally consider and certainly not at this scale with this many different pieces and details. But at the end of the day, even though it was something different for me, I think I had a lot of fun. It was pretty exciting to get into so many different aspects of the piece. So at the end here, you see me cleaning up the sketch a little bit and I'll go into detail over why I'm doing that in a bit.
So here's the part where I start to transfer the images from digital to traditional. Something really important in this project is that the figures have to remain the same size. So I was really glad to find the Lightbox app that I did find. It was free and for anyone who uses the iPad, it's called Lightbox Trace. It lets you upload images onto it and it even has a locking feature, which means that when you're tracing on it, it won't be affected by your hand. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it on my Android phone, but if you search Lightbox Tracing app, I've done that before too on my phone and there's quite a few free options out there. So you can kind of see the figures coming through the paper. That was why I cleaned up the sketch so much. When I initially came to try to trace these sketches, I realized that my current sketches were too messy and too light for me to be able to really see anything. So I had to go back and clean it up and give it more firm lines. And I also repainted the sketch to black. So one of the tips I would offer is before going to trace, just make sure that if you're using a sketch, it's very legible, if that makes sense. Another suggestion I would make is to lower the lighting. If you can't seem to see the trace, it could be the lighting. I ended up having to close my windows, turn off the lights, and then I could really see some of the details of the sketch. I am sorry for the dimness of this video. There wasn't really much I could do about that. Another thing to have that was really useful for me at least when I was using my tablet for this was paper weights. I, well I didn't really have paper weights but just something to keep your paper still and keep it down. I think I've seen people use tape before but I didn't want to do that on my screen and this really worked out fine. All I really had on hand was just a random desk thing I keep around and an ink bottle. <laughs> So just anything will do as long as it can keep the paper down. And my final comment, I guess this would be, is that the smaller, lighter sketches don't come through, especially the details of the smaller sketches. So for this project, I really needed these figures to be an exact size. So what I did for my smaller details was kind of sketch around the outline and then I would take the paper off the tablet and add in the details myself. Alright, so this is what came out so far for this project. 
So next week will be part two where I'll do some painting and putting everything together and I will also reveal what this is. If you guys have any guesses that you want to take over what I'm making, please leave them in the comments below. And if you had fun with me today, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for staying this far and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!